so Jason, you know, Dobby's been this very mysterious character, you know, he, he's going by an alias. Considering how much depth and backstory my hero tends to give its characters, how exciting is it to get to play this, you know, enigma? Oh man, it's, uh, it, it's exceptionally gratifying. Um, it's like every actor's dream, frankly, to have a character with such depth, with so many layers, so complicated to be gradually revealed like this is man it's, it's awesome leo one of the most interesting things about himiko is that she's uh about the same age as the university kids well a lot of the other villains are much older can you speak to that unique element and the kind of shared experience she has where she's also kind of learning and coming into her own although she's on the villain side i think that it it feeds her need to uh, be, you know, Uraka and Deco whenever she attacks them with her quirk um, a little bit more because I feel like her need is to belong and I think it, it just triggers her more seeing, you know, a bunch of other kids her age on the side of good when she's over here on the side of, of bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, I definitely think it makes her want to be them a little bit more so maybe it makes her a little bit more villainous and go after them more jason dobby has this great sarcastic and he's very blunt how fun is it to you know have that personality and to, to look, get to deliver some really great one-liners as well oh man it's it's uh, again incredibly gratifying as an actor and to, to to be that guy is um it's just awesome i mean i actually will use my voice occasionally in real life if uh, if I really need to get something that I want, like a dinner reservation, I find that it works pretty well. Oddly <laughs> enough, so she can attest to this fact. Yeah, he does that. It's um, fun. I mean, I don't announce who who I'm whose voice I'm using, but uh, but you put that on on the phone, and it's like, yeah, doors open. It's interesting. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Leah, you know, the transformation quirk that Toga has, you know, it allows her to be such a great uh, source of reconnaissance, and it also adds another layer of complexity to her. You know, when you think about her quirk and her abilities, how does that impact your approach to playing her? I mean, it, uh, it affects everything because I think it is who she is as far as, you know, desperately wanting to be something that she's not. Um, I... I've chosen kind of like a deep love and need to be accepted and to belong as kind of like my base of portrayal for her. And that definitely comes from her quirk of, of attacking these people that are, you know, mostly that are good that she wishes she could be like. So that's, to me, I, I see that as a intense desperation to, um, to live your life with <laughs> so yeah it definitely um colors everything that i do as far as voicing her jason you know dobby was very inspired by the hero killer and he initially clashes with tamora personality wise before joining the league of villains how do you feel that dobby really fits into that that circle because there's always been that kind of differing in philosophy i mean i feel like I don't know that, that he actually feels like he's a, a full member of the group. There's, there's a bit of a lone wolf to his personality. I mean, would you agree? Yeah, yeah. I mean, even from the very beginning, um, he, he separates himself. He's part of it, but he definitely, he's on his own path. And we still don't know what the motivations are or what that stems from, most of us anyway. And the... Uh, yeah, I, I just, um, I can't wait to figure that out personally. Leah, I love, like, Toga is such a fan favorite. She's so charismatic, and that comes down to a lot of your performance. And she's also quite flirty a lot of the time, and I imagine that's a lot of fun to play. Uh, can you speak to that aspect of your performance? The flirtiness? Yeah, I mean, it's just another intensity, you know? You take the intensity of being angry and villainous, and you turn it into... Uh, a flirtation it's just another tactic to desperately get at something or somebody 
So it, it is exactly the same intensity, but it's, it's fun. And I, I do lean a lot on our director, Colleen, for which way we're going with it. So, because they're, you could choose either one. <laughs> you could choose extre uh, extremely flirtatious or you can choose to cut someone up and be crazy. So either way, you want something, the exact same thing. <laughs> Six of one, half dozen of the other. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, there's a lot of fire quirks in the series, but what I like about Dobby is his is so powerful that it's blue. So like he kind of has even more potential and more power. I'd love to get your thoughts on just his quirk. I mean, it's physics, right? I mean, blue flames are the hottest flames. Um, I, I'm, again, it's, it's just something that I'm super stoked about. I feel like his potential is almost limitless. Um, I guess we shall see what happens in the long run, but, but I think he could rival some pretty powerful pro heroes for certain. Leah, you know, Toga has become such a fan favorite. Like I said, how has just the support been from fans? It's been overwhelming and so surprising and amazing. I did not expect that. And I don't think I've, I don't know I'm, that I have a character that is as loved as her so far. I mean, I think I have some that come close, but um, yeah, it's definitely given me a, a good look at like who's watching and how loved these characters are and how supported this entire show is and I'm very fortunate to be a part of that and to get to experience it firsthand so it's been awesome. Jason you're part of so many huge shows right now Attack on Titan, My Hero, Black Clover and they all have you know such passionate fan bases like as a voice actor just how exciting is this part of your career I mean it has to feel like all this works kind of really paying off now. It definitely is. And I've been at it a long time, almost two decades uh, doing voice work. Um, again, I hate to overuse this word, but, but it's been exceptionally gratifying to, to have both Attack on Titan and my heroes, specifically my characters in these, uh, what I call tentpole anime properties, um, start to kind of be, their, their motivations are, are, both of these characters are being revealed almost concurrently. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's just a crazy moment. Um, I, am, I am quite happy about it and, and hope that things get revealed continuously in perpetuity. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Leah, my last question here, I would love to hear what your favorite scene is with Toga so far. My favorite scene uh, is probably the scene in the forest with um, Suyu where she's, uh, you know, she decides that she really loves her name and she wants to be friends with her um, while pinning her to a tree. I, I don't know. I just really enjoyed recording it and I, I liked those characters. So I think that was my favorite so far.